from Maya to work. Um, I had to make sure I was getting everything uh, set up properly. Um, I've got the latest version installed from Git. And then you basically go export selection and make sure that you have the include texture information, um, all the geometry. This right here, the skeletons, um, create soft skeleton roots. This has to be selected because I wasn't getting the um, animation over, but everything has to be bound to a skeleton or a joint. You can't animate just an object. It has to be bound to uh, a skeleton or just like a joint. Um, and then we've got the animation range. Export it out. Since it's over to my iCloud, and then I pop it over to my iPad Pro to make sure it's working. And then I will come over here. I will go to files. And it's this one. Sync it up. Bam. Look at that. It's working. And then watch the lighting change as I slowly dial my immersion. You can see how the lighting actually changes on the objects. And I could scale up and down and move it around. One thing I wish this, I know this is a quick view, but you always have to like look down, way down here to, to find your your bar. And what I was hoping was that we would have a better way of snapping to you know, our ground planes. So I could, if I come out here, like I don't know if I'm actually hitting the ground. I have to kind of like look at the shadow placement. Uh, if I go back to 100 percent, come on. This whole having to look to gaze sometimes it's not doesn't work 100 percent for me. It's fan. Okay, let me grab this. Always so the cool thing about this is I did it to scale. So this is six foot tall. I'm actually a little bit taller than this. So that's I think it's like right up to my eye level there. That's looking pretty cool. And then let's take this outside. So let me see if I can just like walk through and place it out here. So we've got it outside and I can actually walk around it. It's pretty cool. Move it around. See, I want to start making apps where I can actually make my environments and teleport through them, but that's kind of difficult without controls right now. Might be a way to enable some custom hand gestures to kind of like point and, and move. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then let's like take this. I don't like looking down to find the bar. It's got to be a better way to do this. Let's go right here and make this huge. Now I can't figure out how to make it. I think it's like based on how close I am when I'm dragging this out. But that's pretty cool. So now I can work around that. Look at that. <laughs> and. It's looking really crisp to me. Um, I don't know how the video is going to look, but it's a little bit, of course, it's significantly dimmer than uh, real life when you look through it. But like right now, it looks pretty real to me. Like I can come up to here and like I want to touch this. <laughs> I want to touch it. But anyhow, yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's working. Nice. All right, cool. I just want to show that uh, USDZ export with animation out from Maya. So I don't have to right now, I don't have to use any um, Apple's AR kit or reality composer right now. I want to eventually get into that so I can start, you know, making some more complicated things instead of just relying on quick look. But this is just my first test of getting this to work. And it's working. Too bad you can't see my shadow being casted on the objects, but yeah, that's another, another issue. That's pretty cool. All right. Take it down. Then I have to carry it with me to move it back. Let's go put it on the picnic table here. Oh, just dropped it. Let's see. Come on. This whole pinch to gaze to make it activated. There's got to be a different way of, of doing this with quick look. And you have to like tap off of it. I get rid of that. There you go. Pretty cool. Now while I'm outside, let's kick into the environment. And then let me uh, 
change our environment. Actually, no, I want. I'm sorry, I don't want to do that. I want to. This is where I need to go back into the main dock just to access that environment. So then we can pick another one like here. This is pretty cool. Obviously, we're floating in the air because it's not flat. But look at the lighting changes and updates. It's pretty cool. And then if I slowly dial out, watch the lighting change on the objects. Pretty cool. And then let's go back to files and let's say I've got some animation tests, but I can't show these just yet. But I'll show this one. Look at that. Here's one of my one of my sculpts. This actually was generated in VR and uh, 3D printed, and now it's back into augmented. Oh, and there's a little squirrel in our yard. I see you, squirrel. He's trying to get into the to the garage sometimes to get the Girl Scout cookies, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see a little sketch about dude over here. His scale is pretty small. I'm gonna go through and make sure I'm, these are all to scale. Also, I wish there was a better way of sensing the ground plane. So I can just snap it, because like I'm going through the ground plane, but there's got to be a way to snap it to the ground. This was a USDZ export out of Substance Painter, I believe. And also, I've done, I've been able to, um, let's see, what was I going to say? I was, I'm able to um, upload a file to Sketchfab, like these were Sketchfabs, and then I can download the USDZ from Sketchfab. So that works. But I'm encouraged that I could do the animation in Maya now. Also, here's another weird thing. This is just with a quick click, but I can't getting this weird occlusion between the objects. I have to kind of click on one. They're probably too close to each other, which, again, this is just the default viewer files quick look at. But I'm sure hopefully someone will write something a little bit better. So I can put that up on the grill and make it a little smaller. I wish there was a way for, like, Instead of having to tap to go on and off, maybe like when you get your hand closer, it comes, the controls become, like right now it gets, just, it knows that I'm looking at this one. If I go over here, it knows that I've, I've gazed at it, which is cool. But see, I can't, I can pinch to zoom and rotate, but I can't, I can't reposition. So I have to kind of look, I have to tap it. Come on, tap it to get the bar. What can I get on this one? See, now I can't figure out. Oh, there you go. It's kind of sensitive. It's. Alright. Pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to stop this recording.